Welcome. So the next is 396 hertz. So this is a G. I want you to just tune in and see how that feels. It feels green to me. <laughs> I feel very nurtured. feels like it wants to go over my sacral. So just tune into how these frequencies as you strike them are reverberating, illuminating, becoming conscious, vibrating different parts of your body. So once again, they say that it's good for releasing fear and guilt, promoting physical healing, stabilizing the energy field. And how you relate to each of the frequencies is going to differ from day to day. You might like to program your own frequencies and your own intention for what the individual frequencies mean and feel. Next, we have G double sharp, which is an A, 417 hertz. I've worked a lot with 417 hertz through a time where I really needed support. And I feel like this clears the energy of the room super fast. I see it as an orange light. Once again, that's totally just like your own personal preference and programming. This feels very bright. It feels very expansive. I want to put it on my third eye. I want to take it up to my crown. So once again, tuning into how 417 Hertz makes you feel. I feel stable, I feel connected. It's almost like I'm in a pillar. All the way up to source and all the way down. Feels really good. Tuning into the next frequency, which is 528C. So just listening in and feeling how 528 hertz affects So 528 hertz is said to be the miracle frequency. I don't really believe that there is a miracle frequency. Every single human is vibrating so differently. So many frequencies are going to be affecting you in different ways. It's really beautiful to think that it heals your DNA because thought creates form. If you're out here being like 528 hertz healing my DNA and you're visualizing DNA spirals, the helix, the double helix being coated in this frequency, Visualizing your DNA being upgraded, maybe tuning into a source blue light. And you're breathing that through, you're holographically projecting that into every DNA spiral. That's some cool version of healing that you're doing and I fully endorse it. But at the end of the day, it really is how it affects you on that day. So tuning into its color. tuning into how it makes you feel and utilizing it and wielding it in whatever way feels best for you. Next is E639 Hertz. I already like this one. So tuning in. I feel this in my crown a lot. 639. Fundamentals of the 369 code, mathematical frequencies of life. So, how does it make you feel? Where do you want to place it? As you're playing this frequency, where does it intuitively want to go? You can even introduce these frequencies to every energy center and say, hey, how can this support and nourish this part of my body? Maybe one aspect of your body is illuminating. And I just heard the word kidney. So move to the kidneys and start to introduce that frequency to the body. 
there's not enough information out there and I think that there's lots of information out there but there's not enough scientifically backed information and I think as always forming your own connection to frequencies sound vibration while there is the science of sound forming your own personal connection and the way that you want to work with the frequencies is the best way to trust so moving on to the next frequency which is 741 I see this is blue as well an A G flat sorry F so F sharp I use 741 hertz a lot. I use it in my sound lounge tracks for detoxifying the body. I really tune into this frequency and resonate with it a lot. So this is something that I would use to breathe into the blood, to breathe into the cells, to breathe into the endocrine system, to breathe into the immune system, to breathe into all parts of the body that need almost like a flushing out. So I'm gonna play it and you tune into how it makes you feel. I feel uplifted. I feel like it shoots from my high heart up through my crown. So once again, playing with that frequency, seeing how it affects you, seeing where you naturally want to move it, allowing it to fully reverberate and resonate for as long as it needs to through your system. Next is 852 hertz, an A. Introducing it to parts of the body, letting you tune in and seeing how it makes you feel. I feel like I want to be lifted up. I see it as a deep purple. I also want to move it through my throat, so that's interesting. And that could just be how I feel today. So 963 is the last frequency, and that's a B. So just tuning into this frequency. This is definitely activating my crown. So the higher the frequency, it's going to start reverberating the top of the body. The higher, the smaller the part of the body, the higher the frequency, the lower the denser, the lower the frequency. Yeah, that feels great. So I see this as like almost a pearlescent white light. And it's like a lifting, pulling sensation. Up, 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 up. Hmm. So tuning in to all of your frequencies, maybe grabbing a notepad and a pen, Utilizing your different solfeggio frequencies and making a meaning for you. Understanding that you need a sea of frequencies, understanding the way that you direct your consciousness, the light, the energy is really where the magic happens. If you have any questions about the solfeggio frequencies, um, feel free to contact me. And if you want a whole soundtrack made in each solfeggio frequency, I have composed a solfeggio series. And that is available. Send me an email or check on the website, vibrosoundhealing.com. Thank you. <laughs> 